much cool stuff happen. We've had the Xbox One S release, we've had a brand new set and a, and a new presenter. Yeah, yeah, everything can't be great, but you gotta look at the silver linings hey. and stuff. We got the Xbox One S. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't mean it. Mean me. <laughs> but it's fun. Uh, but yeah, so we thought we'd take a look at some of the best games of 2016 so far. Let's take a look. First up, we have a game that is quite possibly the most hyped game of 2016. It had everyone counting down the days to its release, and I personally don't think I've ever had so much fun playing with a group of friends, and that's Battlefield 1. This game has everything that you could have asked for from a Battlefield game. Huge battles with up 64 players, which is made even better with their brand new operations game mode, which creates some of the most intense gameplay I've ever experienced. Where you go from holding off waves of enemies in the trenches to shooting out one of Battlefield 1's new behemoth vehicles, the airship from the sky. You can also fight in the air using old school fighter biplanes or just bulldoze buildings down with a tank. And that's another area Battlefield 1 excels in, the destructible environment. Everything going on around you in the battlefield just helps to create this incredible immersive experience that will keep you playing for hours upon hours. Buildings blow up, dirt being thrown into the air, explosions going on all around. It's absolutely incredible. And if multiplayer isn't always your cup of tea, you also have five awesome mini campaigns focusing on different soldiers within World War I, such as a tank driver or a fighter pilot, which is a lot of fun. But speaking of fun, you also get to ride horses in a first-person shooter. Horses! But I have to say, Battlefield 1 is just one of those must-have games of 2016. An incredible overall experience, amazing game modes, weapons, and vehicles. Supernatural abilities, a father-daughter power duo, stunning graphics, and a world's hardest achievement that I actually got. Of course, Dishonored 2 was going to make the list. If you're a fan of the first Dishonored, then Dishonored 2 has hopefully lived up to your expectations and then some. The story takes place 15 years later, where Emily has grown up into a pretty badass young woman. Her and her father both have some seriously awesome supernatural abilities and plenty of new ones to get your teeth stuck into. There's Domino, which will have you linking several targets' fates together and taking them all out with one swift pull of the trigger or stab of the knife. Whilst Shadow Walk will see Emily slinking into the darkness like some kind of horrible beast. Yep, that's nightmare fuel right there. Far Reach will get Emily to faraway places, so it's super useful in your time of need. It's hard not to automatically choose Emily as your character of choice, but there's definitely something cool about having an option when it comes to character selection, each with their own unique skills. One of the first things that strikes you about Dishonored 2 is how damn beautiful it is. It's something I've spoken about before, and I'll say it again. The Clockwork Mansion is one of the most stunning levels I've ever played. Not only is it ridiculously beautiful in terms of graphics and style, it's also just so damn clever. The level is pieced together in such a way that it's more like a puzzle piece or a Rubik's Cube, and with each playthrough you'll find areas you didn't see before and new things to be amazed by. The man of the hour, Corvo, also went and acquired himself a voice, which is always nice. Whilst he remained a strong and silent type the first time round, it actually turns out he is a deep and devilish grumble, which bumps him up a few places on my coolest game characters ever list. I mean, Big Boss is still at the top, but you know, Corvo's still pretty cool. Whilst you take control of Corvo or Emily, the options are endless. Will you be a total psycho rampaging through and taking everyone down in a bloody murderous rage? Or will you sneak and stealth your way through, silently skulking through the shadows and putting everyone to sleep before you creep away? Like a lot of things with this game, the choice is yours and it all makes for a rich